The time has come. Join us in the Boreth system. We are preparing to make our next move against the forces of the so-called Emperor and his dishonorable lackeys. Soon we will rally those who would end this destructive conflict and restore the Empire. The journey lies ahead. All that remains is to take the first step. Good. Perhaps you can succeed where I have not. The problem is that we cannot decide on our next move. Getting a spy, a warrior, a politician, and a general to agree on anything is a difficult challenge. When all those people are Klingons, it becomes a challenge worthy of Kalos himself. Speak with the others, see what they have in mind. Your fresh perspective may find a path forward, if such a thing exists. My mind often returns to the disaster at Kuvat. Though it was Akar who gave the order to fire on the planet, it happened on my ship to remove the dishonor of that treacherous attack on the world of my mother's birth. There are reports of new mycelial rifts open in the Kuvat system. Corrupted Alachi have launched several attacks in retaliation for previous attacks of aggression against them. It seems another one of my sins has returned to haunt me. I would go to Kuvat and aid their forces against the Alachi. The others believe we should curry favor with the strongest houses that stand against Jimpak. It is not a position I agree with. The strong houses will resent any aid from us. They will take it as an offense, a question of their honor and their prowess as warriors. The smaller houses in need will be more pragmatic. They will accept our aid and become loyal allies when called upon. I believe we should prove our strength by helping those who need it most. In doing so, we will earn respect from the stronger houses, rather than resentment. I have received word that systems controlled by House Korath are being attacked by forces loyal to Jumpok. They are being punished for their refusal to bend the knee. Our intel suggests that Akar's virus has been used to render their starships defenseless in several battles. I believe we can forge an alliance with them by providing the countermeasures to the virus. This will give their forces a chance to fight as warriors rather than die without honor in the cold darkness of space. You see, I think that's why we have yet to agree on a plan. Each of us has a bold, challenging goal in mind. 
I propose that we go to Kronos and put a bat rep into Jim Pock's skull. After issuing a formal challenge for the right to lead, of course. As glorious as that would be, it was decided the level of security surrounding the Emperor would be more than even we could handle. That, and the matter of his dishonorable solution to the last fight we had over the Chancellor's seat. Ah! Indeed. I would hear your reasoning for this decision. That may be true, but what of Kuva? Do we abandon the people there to the Alachi? Hmm. Yes. A warrior who enters a battle unprepared is a warrior destined to fail. You are correct. With more forces at our side, we will be able to face the Alachi and aid the people of Kuvat. I do not disagree. And I believe I know the perfect candidate for this operation. House Kang. After the death of the Harmaster Kang, the house lost a great deal of influence. It has been in a slow but steady state of decline ever since. They have been seeking a way to restore glory to their house for some time now. Their most recent attempt ended poorly. When Jimbok declared himself Emperor, House Kang was preparing to stage a coup. Unfortunately, spies discovered their plan and informed Jimbok. Imperial security captured most of the leadership of House Kang, and they are on their way to Rura Pente as we speak. Jim Park threw me into a prison once. He wanted me to suffer and die without honor. I will not let that happen to the warriors of House Kang. I do. I think we should raid that system and liberate the House Kang warriors being held there. I will lead our ground forces on these raids. I knew Dahar Master Kang, and I know many of the current leaders of his house. They will be quicker to trust a familiar face. While we conduct the raids, I want the crews of the Corps and Rotarin to seek more allies and conduct reconnaissance. We must be prepared for future battles after this one. Now, let us show the Great Houses our strength. Kapla! They're holding General Kanal of House Kang on one of these prison stations, along with many of his loyal warriors. The stations are rigged with sensor jammers, so we'll have to find Kanal and his forces the hard way. I'll be leading the boarding parties to search for canals, starting with Station Alpha. We'll beam over from your ship once you've disabled the station's defenses. Ah, and then things will get interesting. I do not expect the prison guards to give up their prize easily.
Warring party transport complete. We are engaging the enemy. Incoming fleet on center. Prepare for combat! search of the station, but Canal was nowhere to be found. We did find some of his troops, though. Several of them told me that Canal was taken to Station Gamma for interrogation. Indeed, we have some new allies to join in the fight. Canal's warriors are eager to help us, and I'm inclined to let them. Good. We're ready for the next jailbreak. Come and get us. They'll be waiting for us on Station Gamma. Let's not disappoint them. A leader who thinks of those who serve, as well as the Empire. Warriors follow them proudly. Resistance is stronger than anticipated. We need reinforcements immediately. I'm picking up incoming warp signatures. Enemy forces are inbound to our position. Here they come. Looks like a Nasican mercenary fleet.
is secure, but Kanal is not here. In fact, no one from House Kang is here. Mostly Gregs bound for a dishonorable death on that ice ball down there. Possibly. I found an old friend of ours locked up over here. That annoying Ferengi who sold us out to Jim Park back on Nimbus 3. He says he has information. But he'll only speak to you about it. We meet again, Nemesis. After an unfortunate misunderstanding between myself and the Klingons, I find myself bound for the frozen depths of Mura Pente. They didn't even give me a trial. But my fortunes could be about to change. I know where your sins we lack the time for a proper series of negotiations. I'll make it simple for you. Get me out of here! Alive! And I will tell you where he is. Leave me here, but you... We have a deal! Even a prison cell on Kronos is better than that frozen nightmare below! I'd be standing before the Blessed Exchequer within a week. My ledgers are not ready for the final audit. One of the prisoners here put a shiv in his back to score points. He should be dead. But the word is Chancellor... Uh, Emperor Jempok made it clear he was not to die a warrior's death. Unfortunately, the surgeon here is an incompetent drunk. So they took Kanal to Beta Station for medical treatment over there. Check the sick bay logs under snacks and libations, if you don't believe me. <sighs> it appears the little Capex is telling the truth. Pity. I was looking forward to dangling him by his ears from an airlock until he talked. Very well. I'll bring him along and throw him by the ears into your brig. <laughs> Enough of this! We're ready to beam out when you are. Quickly! Kanal has survived one attack. He may not survive another. Oh! <laughs> 
Dreadnought's arrival worked in our favor. The guards were distracted by your glorious battle, and Canal used the opportunity to stage a riot. By the time we got here, most of the fighting was over. Indeed, Canal is still in one piece, and we're all ready to leave this place. And Laurel, you honor us, Mother. House Kang will not forget your actions today. Well said. Jempok sending my troops and I to die in prison is cause enough for us to rally to your banner. But no Klingon would turn their backs on a campaign to save our glorious empire. Give the call to arms, and House Kang will answer. Come on, General. You will not have to wait long to heed such a call to glory. 
We are receiving an incoming transmission from a dead Pa. House Korath is under attack once more. This time in the Forkas system. A number of their ships have been disabled by Akar's virus and left to die in the void. He is indeed. But this is a game we can win. If we move quickly, we can reach Forkas before those vessels break down and explode. We can give them the countermeasures they need to survive. I will not stand by and do nothing when we have the means to save those warriors. Adet Pa, we will meet you in the Forca system. Be prepared to render assistance to the Korath vessels. them defenseless and unable to move, while every critical system begins to break down and fail. Eventually, the systems regulating their antimatter containment fields will fail. Yes, I have started to modify the countermeasures we have used before when dealing with Akar's little tricks. They Remain vigilant as we approach those vessels. I have studied recent records of battle. Akar has used remotely controlled ships as bombs.
most of them. Some escape pods were able to reach a safe distance before the end. One vessel remains. Do we have enough time? They're doing what they can against the virus. We have some time before their core systems reach a critical state. Do not abandon the warriors in escape pods. You have time. Rescue them, so they may fight on as warriors. Right? Very well. Prepare to conduct rescue operations. An enemy force just dropped out of warp. Such a battle is unwise. You should withdraw. De Ver is powerful, but he is not invincible. My ship may be damaged, but even a dreadnought can't survive the explosion from a warp core breach at point-blank range. I am prepared to deliver that beetle blow. It is his duty to defend this system by any means necessary. He wishes to lead his forces to victory as a warrior born. You could leave him to his fate. Without our ships, his fleet will probably lose the battle. With our aid, however, victory could be found, along with a new ally. I understand. Your counsel is appreciated, Lorel, even if the lesson you teach is a bitter one. Captain Gatrak, we will remain in the system and fight by your side, to the end. Very well. Honor to you and your house, Matriarch. Today we will rid the stars of Devur and his lackeys. Kapla! Attention enemy forces! Out of respect for your courage!
defending the system, but they are outnumbered by the enemy. Martok is here, but where are our allies? Why did they not answer the call to arms? Have patience! The warriors of House Kang had to return to their vessels. House Koreth's fleet was decimated by Akar's virus. Yes, but they will respond, for they are Klingon! They gave their word, and they will honor it. It falls to us to hold the line and keep the Alache at bay until they arrive. Kapla! Now, 
You say you come to help with these rifts. There is one nearby. Show us that your word has value here, Jabula. Close the rift now.
much larger than before. We must investigate it at once. This new rift is a lot larger and more powerful than any we have seen so far. Are we going to be able to close it? Scanning in progress. Well, out with it. Can we close it or not? They do. I am reading two signals from the other side of the rift. One is using a heavily encrypted Alachi code. The other is using code unique to House Mokai. I believe someone has acquired some of the Mokai tech from our earlier incursions into the Mycelial Realm and modified it. I have tried several times. The command systems are not... We will not be able to do much more from here. The solution to this problem lies within the Mycelial Network. You and I will lead a team into the Mycelial Network and attempt to contact our allies there. Perhaps the Jasep or the liberated Alachi can assist us. Failing that, we will need to find a solution to the problem ourselves within the network. Bringing a resolution to this con... This is what it was like before, when my forces attacked. I was a fool, blind with rage. I am not proud of this. Then, the task to restore order fell upon your shoulders. Now, that responsibility belongs to me. I am reading several Alachi life signs nearby. They appear to be in an agitated state. I doubt they would be willing or able to help us. Get ready to fight! I am also picking up an Alachi communication relay on the tricorder. Perhaps we can use it to send a message to our allies within the Mycelial realm. Ilachi! They were waiting to attack! Those lights. Those are the filaments used for transport here, yes? They connect different parts of the mycelial realm. We should be able to use this to reach the next island and continue our search for the comms relay. Communication relay lies ahead. If my readings are accurate, we can use it to trigger a signal, something that our allies among the liberated Alachi will notice.
to boost the signal. Let us continue onward. We may find a stronger relay station deeper within the realm. Another Ilati comms relay just ahead. Perhaps we can use it to boost our signal and make contact with the liberated Ilati. Doesn't seem true, my like friend. The others. You are fortunate. I received your last transmission. I see that you travel with the criminal, Jaula. This is most unusual. Please explain yourself. If you do not trust me, Lachi, trust in your friend's judgment. I am here to help you. We believe there are others using modified versions of my tech to create a massive rift. Our attempts to shut it down have not been successful. By working together, we can close the rift and put an end to the spread of corruption here. This would explain why our efforts to neutralize the corruption have failed. We did not have the information on war tech we needed. Jaula, if you give me your word of honor, I will assist your realm once more. I give you my word of honor as a Klingon warrior and the leader of my house. We will... Very well. We must move quickly. The Corrupted Ones have sent a fleet of considerable strength through it to attack your realm, and are preparing more vessels to strike. There is a device nearby that we can use to destabilize the rift. Come, I will show you the way.
shaper lies ahead. It is a device that uses spore mist to alter the terrain and the environment. We can reconfigure this device to release a wave of energized spore mist. The wave will cleanse the corruption from the mycelium as it flows throughout the realm. It will begin to destabilize, eventually reaching a point where it can be closed. Be advised, the corrupted ones are using the Shaper to maintain the rift. They will defend it to the death. can now use the Shaper to undo the badness of the Corrupted Ones. Yes, myself and Ja'ula. She will deal with her tech, while I deal with that of the Corrupted Ones. Working together, we can enable the reconfiguration process and destabilize the rift. Remain vigilant, for the Corrupted Ones will return, and in force. You must defend us while we reconfigure the Shaper. console to unlock the next set of modifications.
to the next party and unlock it. I see your efforts were successful. A death part tells me we will be able to close the rift soon. Very well. Until that time comes, we must defend Kuvat and face the Alachi in battle. We have detected several Klingon vessels on long-range sensors. They are approaching at high warp, but we do not know if they are friends or foes.
rift has destabilized to a point where it can be closed from this side. I recommend haste. The corrupted ones have a large fleet moving to exit the rift as we speak. from the system, and Kuvat is secure once more. Yes, to friends and foes alike, 
After today, more allies will join forces with us, along with House Ka I have received word from my contacts among the Orions and the Gorn. They stand ready to join us. The free Alachi will join the fight as well. We desire an end to this conflict, and to the usage of the mycelial weapon. Tarsev, I would speak with you later about a mycelial matter. For now, however, I believe we all have to prepare for the last campaign. Soon. The time will come to face Jim Park and his forces in battle. of our deeds is spreading throughout the Empire. More allies stand ready to fight at our side, but we cannot rest easy. The Mad Emperor will retaliate with all the forces he- Congratulations, Captain. 